Welcome to another patho video. This is the second of a two video series on megaloblastic anemia. Today let's talk about folic acid deficiency anemia. The two main causes of megaloblastic anemia are vitamin B12 deficiency, which we discussed in part one, and folic acid deficiency, which we discuss in this video. Megaloblastic anemias come about due to impaired DNA synthesis that results in enlarged erythrocytes. It's important to remember that with megaloblastic anemias, lab results will show that the MCV, or mean corpuscular volume of the red blood cells, is increased, as we mentioned. And the mean corpuscular hemoglobin content, or MCHC, is normal. A deficiency in folic acid can also bring about megaloblastic anemia. Unlike B12, folic acid does not require intrinsic factor to be absorbed. It is readily absorbed from the intestine on its own. Folic acid is found in high amounts in such foods as leafy greens, fruits and vegetables, cereals, and meats, but much may be lost during cooking. The most common causes for folic acid deficiency anemia include malnutrition or dietary deficiency that are more commonly seen in the elderly and with alcoholism. Also, malabsorption diseases, such as celiac disease, increase the risk. Medications, such as anticonvulsant drugs, will interfere with the absorption of folic acid. And with cancer, neoplastic cells use a lot of folic acid in cell division and making DNA, so deficiency is common among these patients. Pregnancy greatly increases demands for folate due to the needs of the developing fetus. This concludes the video on folic acid deficiency. Thanks for watching.